Hi guys, so our next recipe will be an apple cider glazed chicken. So let's get into it. So first what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the glaze. So you have a saucepan, a small saucepan, and what you're going to do is take the top off and you're going to take some apple cider. And then you can also use apple juice if you have that on hand, so apple cider. So apple juice will work fine. And then we're going to take a sprig of rosemary. So something cool about herbs is they're really easy to grow at home. So if you want to try gardening or anything like that, herbs are a great way to go. Um, something cool is we have the aeroplane hydroponic um, system we call Eve. So we grow different herbs and leafy greens. So these are really cool to just kind of have herbs. So then we're going to have one teaspoon of garlic. You can kind of play around with the garlic. I'm gonna do a little bit of Dijon mustard. We're gonna allow that to cook down and simmer. And then next we're gonna start on the chicken. So for the chicken, you wanna make sure that it's patted dry because it provides a better crisp on the chicken. You can clean your chicken, cut it down as much as you want. Um, chicken thighs are a great piece of meat to use and cook with because they are really hard to overcook and they have a little bit of fatty pieces so you get a little bit more flavor in your food. So once you pat your chicken dry, you're going to get some salt, some pepper, and some onion powder. So you can season this however you would like. So you're gonna just drizzle a little bit. Gonna do some salt, I got some salt. And then we're gonna do some pepper. And then you can use your hands or you can use tongs. I like to use my hands because I just like to get in my food. So I'm just gonna toss it around a little bit. Make sure that's evenly coated. Once you realize that's easily coated, you're gonna take it and put it in a pan. So while we're seasoning our chicken, as you see, you're gonna wanna get your apple cider glaze to simmer down and really cook down. Make sure that you stir it well. So you want it to reduce down to one fourth amount so that when you pour it over your chicken, you don't have too much. Then you're gonna add some butter at the end. So first, while our glaze is simmering down, we wanna start cooking our chicken. So first we want to pour some olive oil into our pan and allow it to heat up and get glossy. And before we add our chicken, we want to be sure that our oil is hot so then when we put the chicken in the pan that it sizzles when we put it in there. Be sure that, you know, you make sure that your chicken is cooking all the way and that you don't flip your chicken before it's time. Allow it to really cook and if you have a hard time flipping it, that means that it needs a little bit more time to cook. So you're gonna flip your chicken over and then you're during this time, you're gonna be checking on your glaze, making sure that it's still reducing. And if it has reduced, you're gonna add that butter and sit it to the side. While your chicken is almost done cooking, you're gonna pour your glaze on top. And then be sure before you move your, remove your chicken from the aisle, you make sure that your chicken has met an internal temperature of 165. Okay, now that our chicken is nice and brown and it's reached that internal temperature of 165, we're gonna take the chicken and you can kind of serve it however you would like. Um, I'm gonna slice mine in some slices. And this is gonna go great with your Brussels sprouts. All right, you don't have to eat the whole piece, but we're gonna take pieces, we're gonna serve it. Oh, just like that. This tastes super exciting. Mmm, that is good. 